Welcome to another video. This week, we're gonna learn how to write a classic Hollywood-style mysterious drama theme. This is the kind of music you'll hear playing during the opening credits of movies about magic, drama, and mystery. In other words, we're gonna learn how to write music that sounds like this. So the first thing we want to do is to set the stage for our theme by looking at the tempo and the time signature. You'll find that most music written in this style tends to stick with a moderate tempo, anywhere between like 70 to about 110 BPM. Other than this, you can feel free to work with any time signature that you'd like. Simple meters like 4-4 and 3-4 time are reliable, but you can also experiment with different compound meters like 9-8 and 12-8 if you'd like. Our example was written in 4-4 four, four time, and with a tempo of 100 beats per minute. Harmony-wise, things get a little more interesting. Most themes in this style are going to use minor harmony, but they'll rarely stick to a single minor key. More often than not, they'll use either tertian harmony or borrowed chords from parallel minor modes. If you're not familiar with these concepts, I do have tutorials on both of these strategies in my Harmony for Composers playlist. But for now, if we take a look at the chord progression from our example, you can see that most of the piece was actually written in the key of E minor, but I used several borrowed chords from both E Dorian and E Phrygian throughout. Using unusual harmony like this helps give the music a more kind of mystical and exotic sound that fits right at home within this style of music. Now, once you have a chord progression, the next important step is to create a rhythmic layer, something like an ostinato or an arpeggio. This layer is one of the most important parts of this template because most music in this genre tends to be deceptively rhythmic in nature. Now I do have an entire video dedicated to writing ostinati that you can check out here. So for now, let's just suffice to say that you'll want to come up with a repetitive rhythmic pattern that can repeat throughout your music. In our example, I started with the first violins and created a simple ostinato pattern using triplet eighth notes. This motive repeats every single measure, and the notes only change so much as is needed to keep following the chord progression. Later, when I started arranging my sketch, I had the second violins double the ostinato by playing the same rhythm, but without all the moving notes. I also gave the violas a similar role by having them accent the most important notes of my ostinato throughout. Now, you don't need to follow this exact pattern. The idea here is just that the ostinato is a very important part of this template, and you should take your time when you're writing it. As a reminder, don't forget to check out my video on writing ostinati if you're looking for some helpful tips and strategies. Now, once you have your ostinato figured out, you can start writing a melody. Melodies in this genre tend to be very simple and fragmented. And by fragmented, I mean there should be plenty of gaps and rests between motivic statements. In our example, you'll see that my melody consists of four chunks. After each short segment, I'll wait a measure or two of rest before beginning the next motivic statement. And this is pretty par for the course with this genre of music. The contrast created between a slow moving and fragmented melody and a more frenzied and constant ostinato is what helps create a lot of the personality associated with this template. Now, finally, the last thing we should talk about is orchestration. In general, this type of music will be very string dominant. The string section will almost always be responsible for playing the ostinato and the bass line. However, it can also be used to play the melody and any other harmonic roles if you'd like. It's entirely possible to use only stringed instruments to write an entire piece in this style. However, personally, I also like to use choir. In our example, I used a children's choir to sing the melody and an adult choir to hum my chords. I find that this helps give the music a more kind of magical type quality that's almost reminiscent of a Danny Elfman theme. Now, if you like to double down on the magical and fantasy quality of the genre, you can also use pitched metallic percussion, like the glockenspiel or the vibraphone to help double the melody, while instruments like the tubular bells, suspended cymbals, and timpani can be used to accent important beats and moments throughout the music. 
So with all of this information in mind, let's listen to our example one more time. And while we listen, I'll include notes on the screen to point out how the template is being used. with that, we have reached the end of another video. Now, templates like this one can be super helpful, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time you need to write a mysterious and dramatic theme. However, they're cliche for a reason, and you should never rely entirely on a template whenever you're trying to write interesting and original music. Once again, I want to thank my wonderful patrons for their support, as well as all of you who show your support through the many kind and supportive comments, emails, and messages that I receive. I appreciate each and every one of you. So until next time, keep studying, keep working hard, and keep writing new music.